David, we give it a good go here tonight, but unfortunately we couldn't find a winner. How did you see the game? Um, I think it was a tough game. It was, there was a lot in the game, a lot through the game. Um, I thought we contributed a lot to the game. Um, and on reflection, probably should have won the game. Um, but where we are um, is probably symbolic of some of the little small mistakes that we've been punished for over the last six to eight weeks. Um, so as disappointing as it is that we didn't win the game tonight to take it to the last game, um, there's been a lot of what ifs if we had done a couple of things a little bit better. Um, you know, we're three points behind, and I can quite easily think of the top of my head quite of a lot of points that we should have accumulated that we haven't. Um, so that's frustrating. Um, but again, be respectful to Lauren, um, the champions, and we'll take the hit. Uh, we will need to be much improved going forward. Lauren and Kenny and Tiernan as manager have brought a complete new dimension to the to the football pyramid in this in this country. Uh, and as a club, management staff, players, we now need to raise the bar again here at Linfield. Um, at Linfield have always done that. You know, even in my first year when we weren't successful, you go and you want to be as successful the year after, which we were. So it's important when you you don't enjoy basically league success that everybody wants that you, you contribute in other ways. We, we've won the League Cup, we're desperate, we will be desperate to go win the Irish Cup, no doubt, um, and under two weeks. Um, and it's a, it's a competition that, um, certainly for me, the, the showpiece is the one that when we, when we do turn up, that we need to be bang at it, better than what we have been, and hopefully much improved. You mentioned improvement there. What do you think we have to do then as a club? Lots of things. Lots of things as a club. Again, we need to take the bull by the horns now from top to bottom. Um, and that's from 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 everybody. Um, mixing in, making sure um, that we, as a club, and as I say, Linfield have went periods before where you haven't been successful for whatever reason, but they've always bounced back. And when I first come to the club, my remit, my job was to, to make Linfield an already successful football club be successful again, uh, which I've done. So that's still my remit, um, still my job as a manager. And I've always said, I, you know, there's nobody feels any greater privilege than I do uh, with a great responsibility. When you when you carry the badge of Linfield, you carry the expectation, you carry the demands, you carry, carry the success that's been before you by previous managers and players and groups of players. Um, and I've no doubt after tonight, you know, the players are despondent a little in there. Um, about the outcome, not not the performance tonight, but the outcome of where it's left is at the end of the season. So it's my job now to, to pick us up, and the Irish Cup final becomes basically paramount to hopefully the the success that we can gain going forward after uh, after running that. You started Braden Graham tonight, yeah. maybe a surprise selection for some, but fully justified tonight with a great stellar performance. Yeah, I thought he was good. Uh, probably the type of boy and player that he is. He'll be slightly disappointed he maybe hasn't scored, but again, uh, I've seen Braden quite a lot. Uh, I've seen Braden when he was 12 and 13 at this football club. He used to see this little ginger kid running about scoring five, six, seven goals uh, down at Midgley and, and other places. Uh, and again, as a club, um, our academy and everybody who's nurtured and helped Braden along the way needs to take um, you know, great satisfaction and where Braden is now and hopefully where he's going to be. So he's, he's been part of the JD economy with one of our old stalwarts and Andy Waterworth and they say people have put a lot into Braden. Um, we even trusted him as, 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 as I have as a manager when he was 15 last year to be in and around it. This year he's grown up again, physically he's improving and I've no doubt when Braden goes that not only do you see him here playing tonight for Linfield, um, as of so many before, has, has passed before uh, in the regime that I've been here, that um, three, four, five years' time, I've no doubt it'll be uh, hopefully starring for Northern Ireland at, uh, at Windsor Park. Finally, game on Saturday back here at Windsor against Cliftonville, and what is the rehearsal for the Irish Cup final? Yeah, um, probably a game that... Um, that will probably mix and match a little bit. Um, but again, I've already warned the players that I want to win the game on Saturday. Every team that we select, every team that we play against, you want to be successful. So uh, there will be changes in mind, of course. Uh, we'll have a look at who's on potential yellow cards for you know, the, the start of next year. We'll have a look at who's potentially carrying a couple of knocks. Um, but the real work will start. We're, we'll be back in the next couple of days. The real work, preparation, uh, setting their targets, setting their ideas out uh, for Saturday in the league. 
uh, and more importantly the week after in the Irish Cup final. But um, say for me, I understand there's and there's going to be there's going to be disappointment, a little bit of despondency, um, a little bit of frustration amongst their own supporters of sort of the way the season's finished. But I say I can only assure them from the manager, from me, uh, the rest of the staff and the players um, that we want to make this right. And the sooner we make it right, the opportunity we have in the Irish Cup final and going forward, um, and we'll. And I'll certainly be doing my best and make this great club successful again. Well, thanks very much, David, for taking time out this evening to join us. Thank you. Cheers.